What's going on, guys? I'm Nathan with MastersOfMusic.com. So I got a quick tip for you all today. Uh, this is a pretty easy one. So uh, if you got a Focusrite USB audio interface, so it works with the 2i2 like I have right here, or pretty much any of the other USB interfaces, you can uh, connect it to your iPad. Even though they don't have official iPad support, all you need is this connector right here. You know, the official Apple Lightning uh, camera connector is the one with the uh, lightning power adapter on it so you can uh, charge at the same time so you actually need that to power the interface on this device uh, so like some things you can plug into there like a midi like the small midi keyboard i have on the left and you don't need to power it but the audio interface needs power unless you have one that has uh, a separate power source so this one's bus powered uh, and then we will need to just connect the typical usb port or the usb cable to the uh, adapter and then you'll get a warning saying like uh, it doesn't have enough power to uh, power the 2i2. So this is a Focusrite 2i2. Um, so you do have to have that uh, lightning cord plugged in to give it power. So that's why you need this a specific adapter. Uh, the older one doesn't have the charger on there. So you can also plug it into like a power brick if you want. Instead of like, uh, you know, your AC charger, you can plug it into a uh, power source like this and you can go mobile so you don't have to have uh, you know the outlet to plug it into so works this way lights turn on that's how you know it's working uh then so like uh so it's easy as that all you need is the usb power adapter or the camera adapter you can pull, uh, record guitars uh, vocals into this uh, and you can also you know hook up your speakers or use some headphones so uh, when you're uh, recording with guitar so this is a uh, garage band you need to go in and turn on input monitoring to get it to uh, work so some apps will do it automatically but this one you have to go in and just to the little input icon right there and choose to enable input monitoring. So easy enough. So the same exact thing works with like MIDI controllers. If you wanted to connect a MIDI controller, some of them need to have extra power. So you have to plug it in like that. But if you have a smaller one like this, uh, the iPad has enough power to power it. So I don't need to use the extra cable. So you can just use the regular USB cable, plug it into your iPad and you're good to go. You can use the keyboard with a number of apps. So this is the uh, IK Syntronic uh, app. It's actually a free app, so go ahead and check that out if you want to. And the keyboard shown here is the Mini Lab 2. I do like it, it works quite well. So all you need is the USB camera adapter. You're good to go. I also tested this with the Claret 2 Pre USB. Works great. Check out Master Music for more details later.